Hello friends, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are part of the family, then welcome back. Uh, for today's video, I'm going to be actually recommending a few books to you guys. Um, some I have read, some I'm starting. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have so many books that I feel like I want to recommend to you guys. Reading is something that I have been praying um, to, to love. <laughs> I'm not saying I hate it, but it's not a passion of mine. And I feel like when I am uh, done reading a book because I am kind of forced into it in a good way because I'm doing it with like friends, etc. I'm so blessed. And um, so my prayer, even just, you know, if you've been following me for a while, this year, my uh, one of my New Year resolutions was to read more. And I haven't. <laughs> um, I, I'm getting better. I'm not where I want to be. Uh, but... There's just so much that I feel like God can really speak to us. Uh, first of all, through his word, through the Bible. Um, but I feel like there's just so much information about people who love God and who have written out books that are such an amazing tool. So I want to become a reader. So um, anyway, so I want to recommend a few books to you guys. There are actually five, maybe six, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> and then I have a movie I want to recommend as well. All right, so the first book that I want to recommend to you guys is actually a book that me and my daughter started last week. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then I took a picture of it and I posted it there and I shared it with you guys, but I'm making it official now, the recommendation. Um, and it is the book, uh, Lies Girls Belief and the Truth That Sets Them Free. Um, this is the very first book that I started with my daughter. And it's so amazing because at her age, she's only seven, but at her age, I feel like she's bombarded with a lot of lies. And um, this book is actually based, um, or it's from a ministry called True, True Girls, okay? And the, the lady or the, the woman behind it is called Dana um, Gresh. Uh, hopefully I'm not butchering her name, but that's her name down here. Um, and yeah, I mean, going through scripture, uh, walking through these girls at this young tween age, speaking their language so that they can understand it, not really speaks to them as to these insecurities they have in their lives and bringing God's word in such a very unique way to, um, to them and in their age and what they're going through. Um, I never had anything like this growing up when I was a tween. And I think it would have been a very cool, um, I don't know, tool that God could use to speak to me. I, I feel like I went through things that if I read something, I read through a book like this, it would have helped me out. Um, but anyways, so again, lies the girls believe and the truth that sets them free. I will put a link below to their um, ministry and their website and also their Instagram. Because if you have girls that age, wow, like you should be pouring into their lives. Um, about scripture and leading them to the right way now, not waiting till they're teenagers, but now, okay? So this book is actually, uh, it actually stemmed from a book for women called Lies Women Believe and the Truth That Sets Them Free by an author called Nancy DeMoss Wolgamuth. And um, I think she co-read or co-wrote, sorry, um, this book as well. Um, so they kind of go hand in hand. Um, I haven't read through this one. I have read through some chapters because we went through it in our women's ministry at my church. Um, but um, it's amazing. What I've read has been amazing. And it's so true. I feel like we buy into so many lies um, that, um, yeah, reading the word and reading scripture could really set us free from so much of that. So um, that's why I recommend this one because we're doing this one. I haven't quite read fully this one, but if it goes, but I know it goes hand in hand to what this one does. So that's why I would recommend both. The mom could probably read this one and then read this one along with your daughter. And it's such a special time that me and my daughter have when we get together and we sit down and we read through it together. She's learning how to read Lucia, so having her read through some stuff too and we're writing them down. Um, initially, there's a little quiz that you can take to see if you have any like um, what they call sticky feelings of like unloved, um, easily embarrassed, sad, um, kind of weird and stuff like that um, that you can assess your daughter when she where she's at. But um, anyways, it's a cool ministry and it's a cool book, so I recommend All it. Right, second book. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know we are going through this book together, uh, and it is the Essential Truths uh, of the Christian Faith by R. C. Sproul. And here on YouTube, if you keep scrolling, you see all of like my. Bible studies or like religious spiritual videos. Um, the last, uh, the ones that I've filmed the last couple of months have been based on this book. If you call yourself a Christian, then there are fundamental facts that you should know because you're going to be held to those if you do call yourselves 
uh, a Christian, a born-again Christian. Um, so this author here, R.C. Sproul, has written so many books. He's a theologian and I, I'm like convinced that he's like a genius. Like his IQ is like all the way up here. Um, but this book was made for, um, yeah, everyday folks like you and me um, in plain language. And the chapters are short, sweet, straight, straight to the point. And he talks about so many biblical um, facts, again, that we should know. For example, to the first, he has uh, sections. So the first one's on revelation, like divine revelation, the law of God, um, interpreting the Bible. He talks about the nature and the attributes of God, that he's omnipresent, he's holy, he's just. What does that mean? You know, the works and decrees of God, miracles, providence, the will of God. Then he talks about a whole section on Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, human beings in the fall, salvation. And right now we're in the church and the sacraments. Um, but the, there is 102 chapters, but they are short, like literally a page, maybe a page and a half, and then you're done. Um, but I have grown so much by really reading this book and reading, yeah, that if I am a Christian, biblically, this is what I should believe. Um, so yeah, so I recommend this book. All right, another book. <laughs> um, I haven't read this book. So you're like, why are you recommending and you haven't read it? My son's read this book and he absolutely loved it. Um, so this is called The Pilgrim's Progress and this one specifically is called uh, Little Pilgrim's Progress because it's specifically for um, the young reader. So my son is nine and he read this book I think a year and a half ago. Um, not The Little Pilgrim's Progress but The Actual Pilgrim's Progress and he loved it. It is a fiction book but it's a Christian fiction book like say Narnia um, and just the whole, the whole volume of like Narnia and all that. Um, they also came out with a movie. They've had several movies, but this year they came out with an animated movie, which we still haven't seen. Um, but it talks about just like the journey of a guy whose name's Christian and he has like this load on his back and he has to figure out how to get rid of this load. And he sees, I think it's like mercy and like all these different characters that really resemble things in our lives that we cling to. Um, and I don't know, it's just, it's beautiful. It's the, the, the story of the gospel in a fiction way but it's very intriguing. The author is John Bunyan. I haven't wanted to read it. Um, so when I start loving reading, then I'm gonna dive into it. I have like a pile of books that I have to read, but he, this one's definitely in one of them. So um, yeah, I highly recommend that you guys check out this book. All right, so the next book, see how I've touched like a book from like for like your daughter, if you have a daughter, for a son, if you have a son, for you, if you are a Christian, to help you with your walk and to know why you believe what you believe. Um, and this next one is on marriage. Um, so me and my husband did go through this book and it is You and Me Forever, Marriage in Light of Eternity um, by Francis Chan and Lisa Chan. Um, and I think it was in one of my very first videos that I posted here on YouTube. I recommended to you guys a few books. Um, and I had recommended a book from his that I read several times. The book has to be so good for you to for me to for you to read, um, or for me to read several times. There's a few that I have read, um, but the but the one that he wrote initially called Crazy Love, which I recommended to you guys in that video, has been amazing. I've read it like three times. Well, that's the same author of this book, and he wrote it along with his wife called Lisa Chan. Um, what I love about this book is that it really helps us walk through the fact that. As a married couple, me and my husband, you and your husband, you and your wife, um, how our marriage has to be about the gospel. That is what joins us. And um, that should be our goal together as a husband and a wife. We are mirroring marriage, uh, the relationship between Jesus, the groom, and the church, the bride. And how our goal is the gospel and how we are called to deny ourselves and love one another, um, just like Jesus loved us. Um, what I love about this too is that it comes with the videos for you to go through in each chapter. And I believe you can find those on YouTube. Um, if I find the link, I'll put it below so you guys can check it out. But you guys get this book and get and watch those videos as, along with this book and it'll be amazing. It really does open up your mind to think that your marriage is just not about each other. But there's a greater purpose, a greater cause, and that is the gospel. So that's what says you and me uh, forever, marriage in light of eternity. That what we do in this earth, what we do as a married couple is not uh, limited to this earth and this world, but it has an eternal impact. Um, yeah, I highly recommend you guys checking out this book as well. 
So the last book um, was actually sent my way um, by somebody called Carrie Keel. Thank you so much for sending it to me, Carrie. If I mispronounce your name, I'm really, really sorry. Um, but it's called Different. Um, and it is the story of this Carrie, who she was one who wrote this book. It says, the story of my handicap, the battles I faced, the lessons I learned, and the wholeness I found in Jesus. And the reason why this book was so special to me um, was because my daughter, she's seven years old, and she was actually born with hearing loss. She has, uh, she has moderate hearing loss. So she wears, she wears hearing aids which is a form of handicap, right? So what I, but what I love about this is that it, it is her biography and she kind of walks you through um, the trauma that she had that caused her to have um, damage to her eyes and how God used this um, to point her to Jesus. And um, she talks about how this pointed, to, pointed her to have an intimate relationship with Jesus. It points to Jesus. So for me, it was great for me to read it and I can't wait for my daughter to get a little older um, for her to read it and for her to be encouraged with her story um, and how God can use this for our good and he does use it for our good if we call him our Lord and Savior. Um, and how even all of our difficulties and all of our struggles and all of our trials should point to him and he uses um he uses it to point us to him and to the gospel so um again i'll put the link to this book below all right and the very last thing i wanted to recommend because i did five six ish books it is a movie and the movie is called american gospel um i'm gonna put a, a little picture here of what it looks like and maybe i'll put a link here uh, because i think you can only watch it on youtube uh you can rent it i think the rent is like four bucks um, but it's so worth it. Oh my word. Um, going through this movie, it really opened up my eyes to understand that um, the grand majority of churches in the U.S., meaning the American gospel that we see um, on TV, that we are exposed to, um, the majority of it, unfortunately, is not what the Bible teaches. Um, even though their message sounds very pretty, sounds very convincing, um, if, you know, if it's not confronting us, if it's not scripture, it is heresy. That as churches, we need to preach the full gospel. And if we are off by just 1%, then it is not what the Bible teaches and we will not see the fruits that the gospel should have in the lives and the impacts of sinners. It talks about the effect that we see um, in those churches in the lives of real Christians and how it's being a hindrance um, and a stumbling block for so many people. Um, but, you know, we trust in God and His sovereign work that He still is moving, he's still using um, the healthy churches nowadays. But um, yeah, it gets you to just think about, hey, is my church a healthy church? Um, just because I've been going to it since I was yay small, or you know, I agree with everything, um, I should get the scripture and see what the Bible says. And whoever's preaching up there needs to be validated by scripture. Um, if we saturate ourselves with the word of God, then we can really see and distinguish, hey, if the preacher's saying what it should be, what the Bible teaches. And if it's not, then it is heresy. And we should be actually steering away from those churches. And it's so convincing because I feel like a lot of these churches, they add some truth to it. They do have Bible verses because there has to be some type of truth to be able to get people in it. The fruits are not there. You don't see fruits. Um, and they expand and attract the wrong people. Um, so anyways, I highly, highly recommend that if you are, call yourself a Christian, um, that you watch this movie. And that way you can filter out to see, you know, through scripture, if your church, if your church really is a healthy local church. Um, so yeah, again, I'll put the link to that movie below so you guys can check it out. Um, if you've seen it, let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. But yeah. All right, guys. So that is about it. Let me know if you guys like this video where I recommend books to you guys um, and movies and such. Um, I love doing videos like this uh, because anything that I can do to be edifying to you um, is just amazing. So, all right. So that's about it. Stay tuned for a few messages from myself. Love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hello friends, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. It actually means the world to me that you guys actually take the time out of your busy day to watch my videos. I have a few messages for you guys. It won't take long at all, I promise. All right, so number one, um, I accept prayer requests. So if there's anything that you are going through, um, anything that you want prayer over, just go ahead and contact me, either through a comment below, an email, private message, whatever way that you want, um, so I can add you to a prayer list that me and my family have, and we pray for every single day. We have seen the power of prayer in our lives, and we wanna share that with you guys. 
All right, number two. If you are on Instagram, you should totally be following me. Why? Because I go live Monday through Friday and I do a small devotional slash Bible study anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, but it's just something that you guys can listen to throughout the day to get you connected to the Lord and to His Word. And lastly, number three, if you are not following me, totally subscribe, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. I would love for you to join our family. We have so much fun here. I do my best to upload twice a week, usually Tuesdays and Fridays. And I do videos about anything and everything. I do beauty, I do fashion, I do recipes, I do about my life, I do hauls, I do some of my favorite products. Honestly, a little bit of everything where my kids are involved and it's just so much fun. So I would love for you to join our family if you want. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much. Love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.